Thank you for being with me. I want to touch upon hurricanes, the remnants of hurricanes. Those would be kind of old leftover parts of hurricanes, as we well know, and uh, the potential impacts up toward uh, Europe as we go through the hurricane season. What I'll be watching out for you right here on this channel. So thank you uh, for taking the time to subscribe. Of course, we'll get busier in the hurricane season, no doubt, as we'll get some systems that kind of come up and around. Right now, as we watch these tropical waves coming off of uh, Africa, they are getting a little bit healthier, but of course, deeper into the hurricane season, that that's when we'll see a little more develop and then eventually the fronts will lift more to the north and that will allow that curvature that we know very well where we could get the remnants of systems that head toward Europe, especially western sections of Europe, which all makes sense. About two to five each season, uh, depending on how active the hurricane season is, about two to five actually make landfall. The remnants make landfall. So you get these old hurricanes, uh, they become post-tropical or not really tropical in nature once they hit our high latitudes, but then they swing in like those classic windstorms. So about two to five each season bring some impacts uh, to parts of Europe. So I'll be tracking that for you. So eventually we'll see as we get stronger tropical waves that develop, the fronts that live to the north, everything gets picked up in those trade winds as we know, kind of circulating around. It will hinge on where that area of high pressure sits over toward uh, parts of the uh, uh, Atlantic, and then we'll watch out for whatever eventually may come our way, but it will get more active and I'll continue to monitor the Atlantic Basin as we go forward. The first name of the Atlantic uh, season, the Atlantic uh, Basin is the Atlantic Ocean, uh, the Caribbean and the Gulf. Andrea is the first name, then Barry, Chantal, Jerry, Karen, Lorenzo, Tanya, Van, Wendy as we get down the list. Uh, and we may see some of those leftovers impacting Europe as we go through the hurricane season. The hurricane season goes through the end of November. Now getting a look at our thunderstorm outlook once again, we'll see some of those thunderstorms as we work our way into later today into tonight in spots even a couple popping up over toward uh, parts of uh, England uh, Wales we may see a few of those storms watching back toward Ireland a bit more so later today and early tonight just keeping an eye this doesn't mean we're going to see uh, thunderstorms in all of France for example it is just showing us where we have these brighter colors the potential of getting some storms. Watching parts of Spain, France, over toward uh, parts of Switzerland, even western section, or rather, yes, western sections of Germany and swinging back toward northern uh, Italy. And then that area shifts a little bit by tomorrow. So for our Saturday, and we'll see some of those storms kind of shifting a bit more or the chance of storms off toward the east, still that chance of thunderstorms. It has been humid over toward uh, the UK, for example. Still some thunderstorms will be possible. I'll zoom down over toward uh, parts of England, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Ireland, uh, Scotland, and Wales in just a second. But that flow continues to pump in. Watching those scattered storms uh, pulling back uh, toward parts of Russia as we go throughout the day. So starting on the big picture. But as we go throughout the day and even into early tonight, that daytime heating, that old spin is stuck up here by Norway, that is still going to feed and help pop up some of those storms in parts of France. We'll be watching that. Could see a couple around uh, Amsterdam uh, as uh, well, just uh, kind of giving you that old uh, heads up and even up toward uh, Copenhagen. But as we work our way into tomorrow, same thing, watching over toward uh, some of the foothills as we work our way into northern Italy for some of those storms. And then as we work our way into Sunday, you see this moisture here with that spin up to the north, some rain, even heavy at times, parts of Norway uh, squeaking all the way down through Germany and watching some of those thunderstorms swinging back uh, Turkey. We could get a couple of those uh, storms and then back toward Russia as we get into the second half of the weekend. Now, as we go through the rest of today, we could get some thunderstorms in spots. Even some small hail will be a potential. This moisture will feed in. It looks like we're going to get, it's not all day stuff, all night stuff, but a secondary area as we head toward early tonight in which uh, southern areas of England, watching over toward Wales, parts of Ireland, we could get some storms and then lifting up to the north as we work our way into tomorrow morning. So tonight and tomorrow morning, Scotland, for example, looks to be on the wetter side. As we go throughout the day, parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Ireland seeing some of those showers, spotty showers as we work our way into Sunday. We could still get a couple thunderstorms around in some spots. Let me take you around with some of those uh, rain totals. Now, uh, this area, this pink shading showing up here, that could be up to 75 millimeters of rain. For the most part, a lot of us will see less. But when where that happens could be over here, could be over here. It just depends on where the thunderstorm set up. So point being, be mindful of the lightning, small hail possible, some gusty winds 
if you get a thunderstorm, we'll have over 25 millimeters of rain in some of those thunderstorms. And I showed you Norway how eventually these are three day rain totals. Some of that rain starts to scree, uh, scrape in, especially as we go throughout the uh, weekend. We'll monitor that. Russia watching out for some of those downpours. Same thing, France over toward uh, parts of uh, Germany. Uh, and then as we work our way into uh, Italy, northern sections of uh, Italy, uh, back through Switzerland, even Austria, a couple storms. Where we get the storms, we could get 50 millimeters of rain. Gusty winds can't roll out an isolated chance of a tornado, but worried about some of that flooding. Uh, that will be a possibility. And you see here as we swing back, not as much uh, Croatia as we swing back uh, toward uh, Albania, Greece, we could get a pop up storm around. But if we get a thunderstorm, it could be aggressive like we've had the last few days. Now, the seas are going to be elevated uh, for what's left of today with that spin up to the north. As we go throughout the uh, weekend, things relax that uh, the uh, spin kind of lifts up to the north. And then by next week, we'll wait on our next uh, couple of systems that will be moving in. We'll highlight that together as we work our way into next week. So this here, take this with a grain of salt because it'll be rounds of rain. We could get another round later today, but then tonight, a couple of early tonight a couple thunderstorms and then another round of some rain overnight and early in the morning will be a possibility as we get back toward London. Uh, Birmingham uh, you could see 60% chance of rain that would mainly be in the first half of our Saturday and monitoring that thunderstorm threat. Glasgow you see that 60% chance it'll be wet at times watching out for some gusty winds too. Dublin a 70% chance on our Saturday. Meanwhile as we get back toward uh, Rome, Vatican City 5 maybe 10% chance of a pop-up uh, could get a passing sprinkle or even a, a rogue thunderstorm around Milan though will hold with that 30% chance as we swing through the weekend Berlin on Sunday a 40% chance and then look at that with some of that rain I showed you that system how it kind of shifts off a little bit off toward the east we're up to an 80% chance of rain on Sunday 40% chance of some scattered storms nearby Paris for what's left of today even when that sun goes down later today, 30% chance for tomorrow. There we go. That rain chance on Sunday will be picking up in uh, Oslo, uh, Stockholm. We'll see about a 20 to 30% chance of some uh, passing showers. Can't even rule out a rumble of thunder. Uh, Helsinki will watch out for a chance of some spotty showers every now and then uh, as we work our way through the weekend. Brussels, we're looking at about a 50% chance tomorrow. It'll be a close call as some of that rain tries to set up in different spots. I mentioned uh, Amsterdam, about a 20 to 30% chance uh, over the next couple of days. Copenhagen, slightly higher chance as we work our way into our Sunday forecast. 10% chance of a pop-up storm through the weekend over toward Athens. Belgrade just a 5% chance. A 30% chance for its left of today in Madrid. A 20% chance for tomorrow in an isolated shower thunderstorm. But if we get one around Barcelona, it could be strong, even se uh, severe. Lisbon, the rain chance goes down. Storm chance goes down, but still an isolated storm possible. That spin finally starting to lift to the northeast of Iceland. Uh, Vienna, we're looking at a 20% chance of a shower or storm, a 30% chance in Prague by the time we get into the second half of the weekend. Budapest, 10% chance of a stray storm, 10 to 20% chance as we work our way back throughout much of Poland. Kiev, a 70% chance for what's left of today, but still a 40% chance for tomorrow. Rain chance isolated in nature the next few days, but a 30% chance in Istanbul on Sunday. That's when we could see a couple of thunderstorms around Moscow, that rain and storm chance staying on the high side. So several areas of rain on the move, kind of rounds of it. Uh, British Isles for tonight, we'll see it even building in more so. And then early tomorrow, tracking that thunderstorm threat in the heat building and of course, that heat will be building. Uh, it has for a lot of us, but all the way through the uh, end of June, uh, no doubt. It's looking to be, we expect it to be warmer, but above average with the temps and monitoring the tropical Atlantic. I'll keep you posted right here. Thank you for subscribing. Have a good weekend ahead.